How's it going, everyone? It's Kevin here, a movie collector maniac. I am showing you my uh, recent pickups. Uh, these are all from Amazon. I'm going to do a separate video with the rest of my uh, pickups. But yeah, Amazon is the one I had the most of. I got like 15 of them that I got from Amazon. Well, technically 14, I guess. Two movies are with each other. So, so anyway, let's uh, get into the video and see what I picked up from Amazon over the last couple weeks, I guess. All right, first movie I picked up was this... Uh, Nicholas Cage movie, uh, Bringing Out the Dead. This is a new uh, 4K that just came out from uh, Paramount uh, Pre Presents. Went ahead and picked it up from Amazon. So yeah, that came with a 4K and Blu-ray and a digital copy. So yeah, it stars Nicholas Cage, Patricia Arquette, got John Goodman, Bing Rames, Tom Sizemore is in it, and like Cliff Curtis, Martin Scorsese does have a part in this one. He's also the director, of course. So yeah, I'm not sure if I've seen that movie before or not. I uh, did have it on my uh, digital account. But yeah, this movie does have a 6.9 rating on IMDb. It came out in 1999. So that's another uh, movie added to my uh, Nicolas Cage collection. All right, next movie I got is Can't Hardly Wait uh, 4K. This one just comes with a 4K disc and digital copy. Came out in 1998. It's got a 6.5 rating. I did previously own that on Blu-ray, so I'll probably just add my Blu-ray to uh, this set. Make it a combo set, I guess. But yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. It was a pretty funny, funny movie. I thought I haven't seen it in a, quite a while. I guess probably been five or ten years or more, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, this one stars uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, Ethan Embry, uh, Seth Green, Jamie Presley. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it out on 4K. It did come with a slip cover, but of course it matches the cover art on the actual uh, case. So really no difference all right so i did go ahead and pick up uh the chinatown uh, 4k from uh paramount presents since they uh restocked this i guess they found some extra copies it does come with uh the blu-ray of uh, the two jakes as well but yeah chinatown is came out in 1974 it's got a 8.1 rating just recently watched this uh movie not too long ago on my uh digital account i didn't own it uh previously so another uh movie to add to my physical collection I'm trying to slowly upgrade my dvds to blu-rays or 4ks or if i have just digital versions i'm trying to upgrade to a disc version and yeah the two jakes it not sure if I've seen this movie. I don't think I've seen Two Jakes before. But it came out in 1990. It's got a 6.1 rating. It's not as good as Chinatown. But I'm happy to ha add it to my collection. But yeah, Chinatown stars uh, Jack Nicholson, of course. Got Faye Dunaway. John Houston. Directed by Roman Polanski. The Two Jakes stars Jack Nicholson. Looks like he also directed the movie. Also has Harvey Cartel, Meg Tilly. Madeline Stowe, Eli Wallach, Ruben Blades, uh, Tracy Walter, James Hong. I'll go ahead and uh, open this up, let you see what it looks like on the inside.
All right, so I cut my audio off. I don't know what happened, but here is Drive uh, from 2011. Got a 7.8 on IMDb. This is a 4K still book that I picked up from Amazon. Of course, the first one I got was damaged. It had a spine slice across it, like somebody cut it with a box cutter. So I had to send it back, or at least had to order a replacement. So I got the replacement. This is a replacement disc, so... I'm going to uh, open it up. Hopefully it's not damaged anywhere. And I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my audio, but I had to do a voiceover recording. All right, so I got it opened up. This is uh, what it looks like on the front. Here's the back. It's a pretty cool looking still book. I like, really like this one. I do have the regular Blu-ray still book as well. There, here's the discs on the inside. And here's the inside artwork. Yeah, here's front and back together. Like I said, it's a pretty cool looking still book. I really like it. So yeah, this movie stars uh, Ryan Gosling. It's got Brian Cranston, Albert Brooks, Oscar Isaac, Christina Hendricks, Ron Perlman. In it. But yeah, it's been several years since I watched this movie, but looking forward to checking it out on 4K now. All right, next movie I picked up was uh, Horizon, an American Saga, Chapter 1 from uh, Kevin Costner. Directed stars Kevin Costner. This is the comes with a 4K disc and digital copy and slip cover. Same artwork underneath, so no difference there. Yeah, I had pre ordered that one uh, a while back. I had some uh, Amazon bucks or something saved up, so saved a little money on that one. Yeah, it stars Kevin Costner, Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, uh, Gina Malone, Giovanni Ribisi, Danny Houston. Michael Rooker also stars in it with uh, Will Patton. You notice uh, some of the characters in this one are also on Yellowstone. Of course, Kevin Costner quit making Yellowstone to do these uh, movies. Got chapter two hopefully coming out pretty soon. I think he's working on chapter three and chapter four right now. Uh, hopefully he'll get those out to the theater as well. Supposed to be shooting those back to back from what I heard. But yeah, I had watched this movie on uh, Max before I got my disc. It's a long movie, three hours long, three hours and one minute. Uh, then. I did watch this movie with my dad also, so I got actually seen this movie twice. It's a pretty good movie. It came out this year. Got a 6.7 rating. It's a western. You know how I like westerns, so I can see how it's building up for the second part, chapter two. So this one's a little bit slow in some spots. It does it does a pretty good job of telling the story as it goes through but yeah i can see how some people didn't like it quite as much but if you like westerns you should like it but yeah i'm looking forward to chapter two hopefully it'll be coming out pretty soon i did end up picking up uh, this movie also on the still book from walmart so i'll just go ahead and show you the still book what it looks like the still book actually comes with a blu-ray disc so you get an extra disc with it all right, so here's the front of the still book, and then you have the back of the still book. There's the inside with the two discs. I'll take the discs out so you can see the artwork behind it. All right, so there's the inside artwork. And there's the full front and back of the still book. Uh, yeah, this was the last still book that uh, Walmart had in my store, so I was happy to pick this up. Even though I already uh, ordered the slip cover version not sure if I'm going to keep it or try to sell it or return I'm not sure I'm, I gotta think about it alright I went ahead and upgraded this movie from my uh, DVD that I had this one's called LA Story from 1991 it's got a 6.7 rating stars uh, Steve Martin let's see you also have Sarah Jessica Parker Kevin Pollock Got Patrick Stewart, uh, Larry Miller. Another movie I'm not sure if I've seen or not. 
I do have a lot of Steve Martin movies. I'm going to add that to my Steve Martin collection. I have to add my uh, DVD to this. Make a combo set. All right, next one I picked up was The Legend of Zorro on 4K. This one just has a 4K disc and digital copy. Got a slip cover. Same artwork on the case. I have the Blu-ray, so I'll just have to add my uh, Blu-ray to that. Make my own combo kit, I guess. But yeah, this one came out in 2005. It's got a 6.0 rating. Of course, it stars uh, Antonio Banderas, Catherine Zeta-Jones. This is a sequel to The Mask of Zorro. Another movie I haven't seen in quite a while. So another movie I'm looking forward to checking out the 4K on it. All right, next movie I got is Silver Bullet from 1985 got a 6.4 rating this is the 4k and blu-ray combo of course it's uh written by stephen king stars uh gary busy got Corey haim in it terry o'quinn does come with a slip cover of course it matches what's underneath it all right so i picked up uh star trek first contact from 1996 it's got a 7.6 rating this is the 4K Blu-ray digital copy version. I previously owned the Blu-ray set. I just started to upgrade all my Star Trek movies to 4Ks. You'll see some more Star Trek movies coming up. But yeah, this one, 1996, 7.6 rating. Stars uh, Patrick Stewart. And I guess, I don't know, if you watch Star Trek The Next Generation, you should know all the actors and characters, I guess. But yeah, the, the most well-known actors are, of course, Patrick Stewart and James Cromwell. You got Neil McDonough in this one as well. It's like Adam Scott's in this one. All right, the next one I got is Star Trek Generations from 1994. It's got a 6.6 .6 rating. This one actually came with a slipcase. Yeah, that one's got a 4K, Blu-ray, and digital copy. Of course, you got Patrick Stewart again, Malcolm McDowell. You got William Shatner, Alan Ruck from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. All right, next Star Trek movie I got is Star Trek Insurrect Insurrection from 1998. Got a 6.4 rating. Of course, it's got the 4K, Blu-ray, and digital code. That one did didn't come with a slip cover had a couple of them i guess didn't come with a slip cover and some did and of course you got patrick stewart let's see you got f murray abraham anthony zerby all right the next star trek movie is star trek nemesis uh this one came out in 2002 it's got a 6.4 rating got the 4k blu-ray and digital code this one does have a slip cover but for some reason it's shrink wrapped to it to the case so i don't know what the deal is with that i'm going to open this up and see what's going on hopefully it's not a return disc well the disc looks okay uh of course the slip cover is a little a little damaged from being shrink wrapped i guess i guess the only way to find out if it's been used i guess is to see if the digital code still works i guess well it looks like the digital code worked so i got upgraded my uh digital to 4k but yeah i don't know why it was a uh, shrink wrap with the slip cover shrink wrap to it all right next movie i picked up was uh ticket to paradise from 2022 it's got a 6.1 rating come with a 4k blu-ray and digital copy haven't seen this movie but thought i'd add it to my uh Julia Roberts, George Clooney collection, I guess. All right, the last thing that I got is actually a TV show that I picked up. And I actually paid, the, what is it, $3.99 for, for a gift just so I can make sure it didn't come in damaged. So I paid the $3.99. It came in a box. It said a gift from me. <laughs> so yeah, it came in this little bag. but i didn't want to have to deal with uh going through returns or anything this is a still book of course you know how i feel about amazon shipping still books they ship them in plastic basically mailers and stuff so i wanted to make sure i got a box so yeah i picked up uh the walking dead the ones who live uh this is just a blu-ray still book come with some collectible stuff 
I'll go ahead and uh, open this up and show you what it looks like. Hopefully it's not damaged since I paid the four dollars to make sure it wasn't damaged. But yeah, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, this is the Rick Grimes uh, Michonne story. It stars uh, Andrew Lincoln, uh, Dana Guerrero. I can't pronounce her last name. You got uh, Terry O'Quinn in this one. Of course, you got uh, Seth Gilliam in this from the original Walking Dead. Plays Gabriel. So yeah, this series was like, a, I think it was six episodes long. Came out, uh, it says 2024. Uh, it's got a 7.9 rating. But I believe it, yeah, I think it's, yeah, six episodes long. Yeah, I enjoy this, uh, series, I guess. Uh, of course, I like The Walking Dead, so. I'm not sure if they're going to do a second season. I think this is a one-off season. But I guess it's possible they can do it a second season. Maybe, I don't know. All right, so it looks like it came without any damage. So I guess if you want to pay the extra four dollars to gift it to yourself, so it won't be damaged, you can do that. Came with this collectible CRM patch, I guess. Civic Republic Military Cassini badge. Alright, so yeah, that's all my uh, pickups I got from Amazon over the last couple weeks. I think it's been two weeks since I posted a pickup video. Look out for my next video will be pickups from Walmart, Groove, uh, DeepDiscount.com, Barnes & Noble, Arrow Video, Big Lots, eBay and Target. So yeah, leave me a comment down below if you picked up any of these movies. Uh, what you think about any of these movies. Uh, looking forward to watching some of these that I haven't seen in quite a while. Especially now that I have them on 4K. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And you can leave me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that as well. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching.